everybody, the most useless uh, update of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, welcome back everybody to the channel. In today's video, let's talk a little bit about, well, the Flight Simulator again. See, over the past few months, there have been quite a few updates. For, you know, Microsoft added a few new things to the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Like, well, this F-18, which we've already talked about. Quite an amazing brand new aircraft here for the Flight Simulator. Came up with a very recent update here, like a few weeks ago. And as you can see, it is actually quite a proper air aircraft. We've already made a review on it, really. I was actually quite amazed to see this kind of a quality airplane. Like it actually could be sold as a payware, just in a regular unpaid, you know, update. That's really cool. But actually, this aircraft is not the only new addition to the flight simulator over the past few months. There have actually been a surprisingly big amount of things that made this flight simulator a lot, lot better. You know, they've done some quite awesome changes um, and some things even that we kind of criticized in the past. So today's video, I would like to dedicate to those new changes everybody yes first of all yes this f-18 already talked about it we've also had some other new planes added to the flight simulator like the pc-6 from pilatus there you go you know we've already talked a little bit about this plane before it is quite an awesome plane indeed used often for skydiving and other crazy stuff this plane can basically fly anywhere also the quality of this plane was quite you know nice here i mean i haven't made a dedicated video on it but what's really awesome here for example is we actually have here added circuit breakers to this aeroplane. Which to anyone, you know, who's ever actually properly flown a simulator aeroplane, that's very rare actually to have. You know, especially because in, you know, in bigger airplanes, for example, you tend to have like thousands of circuit breakers, really. So that's actually quite a new good feature and we're kind of crashing right now. I wonder why. <laughs> Something else they added, of course, was this Volocopter, which we've already talked a little bit about. It's got, like, eight engines. Yeah, you know, just a lot of, you know, new stuff here they added. But what is especially interesting is this right here. What? Yes, everybody, they added an MD-10, a McDonnell Douglas. Oh, how nice this airplane actually looks. Actually, they added this plane, I think, in summer of this year into the flight simulator as an update that can be downloaded. Doesn't this actually look quite cool? We can even go inside here. Yes, it does actually look quite promising. But uh, for some reason, this plane uh, was highly criticized. I wonder why. But we find the answer when we actually try to spawn into the airplane. And we said, like, London Heathrow as a departure. It won't go. It's just grayed out. Yes, everybody, this <clears throat> article says it quite well. The DC-10, or actually this is an MD-10, is coming to the flight simulator, but you cannot fly it. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, you know, I don't know whose idea it was to, you know, make an unflyable aeroplane, but what this is actually supposed to be is um, like a partnership between Orbis International, which is a flying eye hospital that flies around third world countries, I guess, here in Africa. And well, actually, this airplane exists in real life, right? And, you know, they do eye surgeries and stuff like that to help people out, which is actually a cool cause. And so, I guess, for advertising purposes, they added this into the flight simulator as an unflyable model. But what we can actually do, though, is we can check the aeroplane out from the inside. So I'm just going to start this right here. I don't know how this works, but I think we can even walk around in that. Uh, yeah, what they've done here at least is completely detail the interior of this aeroplane. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, there we go. I found the switches now. We can walk around in the sky hospital and do stuff. What do we have right here? The classroom. God, this is so stupid and useless. Can we go uh, any here? No, uh, we can we can check this out from the inside. Oh, here we go. This is what the flying eye hospital looks like. It kind of looks like in a hospital, but in a plane. Kind of what you would imagine from this plane. It's not, it's not, it's not that exciting. I mean, it's pretty cool to have this, you know, added again into the flight simulator. But look at how nice this looks. And so, you know, I would say this is quite a wasted potential. I mean, how cool would it be to just give this airplane the ability to just fly? Why didn't they just do that? And, 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 I mean, look at how nicely modeled this airplane also is from the outside. There's not even a cockpit actually built into this, right? Uh, this is actually a little bit sad because this is just a wasted opportunity, if I'm being honest. So yes, everybody, the most useless uh, update of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, really. As cool as this cause, again, is and as important as it is and, you know, how nice it is to, you know, um, kind of advertise for it, let people know about, you know, this thing actually existing. Wouldn't it have been a little bit of a better idea to actually make it fly instead of just uselessly waiting
and standing around. Nah, great. But luckily, there are some more changes made to the flight simulator very recently, and we find those actually here now. This is actually a new feature, right? We find those up here in the UI. First of all, of course, what they did recently was change the flight assistant a little bit. You know, you know the AI pilot. Now we can actually give this information on, you know, where it should fly. We can tell it to fly to London Heathrow or something like that. We can let it, you know, give us some guides and stuff like that. That's actually kind of cool. But we've already kind of had this on the channel. Something that's really, really new is this. A replay mode for the flight simulator. See, this is actually quite an interesting thing. The flight simulator used to not actually have a built-in replay mode. We used to use this here. Flight Control Replay Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. An 18 euro add-on with a pretty interesting, ugly UI. But that's another story. This thing is, this thing actually kind of worked. You used to, you know, press the record button. Then you could, you know, replay your flight after. Okay, here we go. Just if we can just jump back right here and rewatch this a little bit. That's kind of cool. Yes, this flight simulator now has its own built-in replay mode, which is pretty much the same. We still have to record stuff before we can actually replay it, which honestly kind of sucks. X-Plane Flight Simulator does not have this kind of uh, functionality, right? Uh, we can now... Res how do we How do we do this? I've never actually used this properly. Uh, set sequence location. What does this do? Camera track recording. So wait, can I now cancel the recording? What? Like that? And now I can... Ah, there we go. Now I can replay it. Okay, that's kind of nice. At least to have it here in the flight simulator. But what would be really cool is just a feature like X-Plane where you would just press a button and then that whole timeline would come up of your whole flight. Uh, but honestly, that kind of works as well. That's good. Let's maybe do a smooth landing then and have it replayed to see how that looks. Yes, yeah, right, buddy. Maybe also on a little bit of a plane that is kind of butter friendly so we can, you know, have a bit of a view on how good the animation, yeah, you know, replay of this whole thing is, right? Let's go ahead and record this. All right. Let's just land our airplane down here. First of all, we have to cheat ourselves down to the runway. Sorry. All right, that's been a good landing, I guess. Let's go ahead and stop. Come on. Stop. Oh, oh my God, please. God, this has been a bad landing. Ah, oh, the throttle doesn't work. Help. Okay, come on. Full stop now. Ah, into the brakes. Why does this landing suck? Okay, great. Here we go. Yes. Beautiful triple seven now has landed. Let's go ahead and actually check out now the replay. So I'm just going to end this here, right? And now I can jump back. Here we go. This is what this looks like. Can I... Go to the outside view now? Why am I in, in, stuck in the cockpit view? Wait, what? Oh, no. Don't tell me you can only actually change... Wait, what? I guess you can only now replay it from the camera view that you viewed right before. I can, like, not do anything right now. I guess we're going to switch to the... Co yeah, there we go. It's just kind of... It, it's kind of like a screen recording that we have here. Camera truck? This is way too confusing. I'm sorry. Uh, now it works. This is a little bit confusing of actually... This, this whole thing is confusing. What a, what a great review of this new update, isn't it? I might just actually just continue to literally use like the conventional add-on that I had all the time. I guess this works a bit better. Talk a little bit about the landing. That was actually quite nice to look at, but still. So yeah, if you want to really save 17 bucks, I guess this is the option for you. You just have to learn it. But I will just stick here with my replay mode here though, because you know, I just understand a little bit better. So yeah. What else you can do actually as well is travel to stuff, um, which is new. And this actually helps you travel to certain, you know, points of your flight when you have a full flight planned. But yeah, that's pretty much all that is to it. Yes, everybody, the replay mode I finally added into the flight simulator. Not as good as was expected, but that's another story. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.